Want some witches blankets? I'm kind of a self-proclaimed fan, a uh, self-proclaimed expert and fan of the Disney princesses. But uh, there was a piece of news that that was the basis for the last video on this one, and that is: Should an alien see no more from the film Alien be a Disney princess? Okay, so, the want to be, I mean, the Disney princess isn't all that easy. There's criteria to follow. The first one is, you have to meet all three. One, you must be human. Two, you must have a primary role in an animated film. And three, you must not be introduced in a sequel. There's three other criteria, but you only have to meet one of them. One, be born royal. Two, marry royal. Or three, commit an act of heroism. And then there's the unspoken one, box office success. So let's look at Singamore. Is it human? No. Is it just a primary one in an animated movie? Kind of. To see it, it's introduced in the seat hole. No. Is it born royal? Yes. Does it marry royal? No. Does it perform an act of heroism? No, because it's a villain. So, as far as I can tell. So, should it be a Disney princess? No. For two reasons. One, you start human. And two, it's a, um, an... Ew, it's a villain. So yeah, it shouldn't. No, this particular one should not be a Disney princess. Alright, and anyway, it's genderless. So it's neither male nor female. So it could be a princess or a prince. Alright, so yeah. So that's it for this video. Bye.